assessments are concerned, assessment variety, formal and informal, collaborative planning, short answer, written response. As for um, uh, to prove it, documents to prove, we have, of course, the data notebook, lesson plans, grade book, formal and summary of assessments. And what not to do is just plain recall, multiple choice, true, false, those sorts of things. The only recall that you just did. Any questions? Well, we didn't have any questions. <laughs> All right, what assessment uses look like continually using a variety of form of formative and some sums of assessment, provide feedback to students and speak to teach students how to self-assess, the documents to prove a lesson plan for data notebook, assessment uses is not, just giving a grade and not adjusting instruction, and we don't have any. <laughs> All right, look for us. We have user assessments to adjust instruction, provide feedback to students and parents to read oral, increase understanding of making the student aware of their mistakes, uh, give students the opportunity to self assess themselves. Our look for us, and uh, excuse me, the assessment uses data notebook, lesson plans, and grade book. Then we have the red flags. Just don't let them just take the test, grade it, and just don't move on, you know. Stand there and help them go back over it, reteach it. Uh, then lack of explanation, simple yes, no, or right or wrong. And we have no questions. Okay. So assessment uses look like continuous constructive feedback that assists learners monitoring their progress, instructional adjustments made based on data, interventions that target deficits in learning. Diagnostic checks used to assist the teacher in developing learning targets for individual students. Assessment uses is not testing quizzes that do not drive instruction, the same groupings for students all the time, and documents to prove, data notebook with evidence of formative assessments, and how those assessments were used to impact teaching, instructional design, lesson plan, student work samples, and commentary. Department. Assessment uses looks like look for us, individualized instruction, differentiated instruction, flexible grouping, guide short and long term educational goals, um, documents to prove assessment, data notebook, uh, formative sum of assessment, progress monitoring. Uh, <coughs> The assessment use is not busy work, hope groups, set and get, recall, no feedback provided, questions none. Okay, CPAE, look for diagnostic assessment data, formal and informal assessment, formative and summative assessment, use data to measure student progress, design appropriate lessons. It is not inconsistency, non-relevant test questions, busy work, only teacher-centered assessment. Um, the uh, documents to prove, journal entries, portfolio entries, discussions, homework assignments, and we did not have questions. Fine arts. Assessment uses are using data to develop learning goals, differentiate instruction, and document learning using a variety of assessments and adjusting instruction based on those assessments. It is not failing to give feedback, not sharing um, student uh, progress with the students, and not analyzing test results. And documents to prove our assessments, student goal sheets, self-assessments, and data notebooks. And we do not have any questions.
looking at modifications, uh, assessment uses. It's not an end, but a result that counts. Uh, it's not collecting dust. Make sure you use what you have. And refusing to make changes, modifications. And we didn't have any questions. Oh, the data notebooks too. Portfolios and all that stuff we always use again. All right, any questions? All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, well we have one video we need to watch, the educator engagement video.